today I'm going to be taking you guys through a complete free weight leg workout. This one you can do with just a kettlebell or even dumbbells and we're going to be focusing on all around leg development. This one is short, fast, and effective. We're going to be doing all my favorite unique exercises to hit your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings. So get ready, go grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell and let's get to work. Today's workout, we are starting off with stability ball wall squats. For this exercise, what you want to do is you want to set up the stability ball with your feet under your hips and your toes pointed out slightly in a 45 degree angle. I'm keeping all of my weight in my heels, really sitting down, keeping the tension in my heels and glutes and squeezing on the way up. I did a weird kind of tempo here. I love changing up the tempos, and this is called a one and a quarter rep. So essentially, I'm going one full rep, and then on the second rep, all the way down, quarter way up, all the way down, and then full extension at the top. And this just is a great way to change it up, create more time under tension in the muscle, and stimulate that muscle hypertrophy, which is those leg gains that we are going for. After you finish off, this is a superset. So we are gonna be immediately going into lateral lunges to hip abductions. And for this exercise, so many people just work in their, you know, frontal plane. You see people doing squats, reverse lunges, but it's very important to get out of that plane of motion and work laterally. This is gonna target your inner thighs, your glutes, everything and it's such a great functional movement that so many people should be doing some cues you want to focus on are stepping out keeping your weight in that heel and really sitting back into your glute then you're going to add up the plate in squeezing that leg towards your other and with this just focus on slow controlled reps and it's not about going heavy here once you do all four sets there with two minute break periods, we're gonna be moving on to our next superset. So this is my favorite way to do good mornings to sumo squats. And this is gonna target, again, your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads. I like to do it a little bit more of a wide stance with my toes slightly turned out, again, to target more of that posterior chain. Focus on keeping your chest up, back flat, weight in those heels and glutes, and I love to exhale on a way up. You never want to hold your breath when training. You always want to get a good oxygen to that muscle, so make sure you are breathing. Immediately afterwards, we are going into my favorite kettlebell swing variation. We're using power here, strength here, as well as this is a great one to stimulate your mind because you gotta be thinking what you are doing to get it right. But focus again, it's like a regular kettlebell swing, but with one arm, keeping the chest up, hip hinging back, and using your glutes to propel it forward. You are going to be doing four sets of these before moving on to our third and final superset. For this superset, we are going to be doing single leg RDLs to skater squats. I am actually standing on a step here just so I can get a little bit more range of motion. With this exercise, you want to make sure you're performing it properly. You want to make sure you're keeping your chest up and you're keeping tension again in those quads, glutes, and hamstrings. On the way down, I am pushing my hips back toward the wall, keeping my back flat, tension in the glutes and hammies, and then pressing through that heel and squeezing my glutes on the way up. Again, allowing the dumbbell or kettlebell to go down, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings and glutes, keeping the weight in the heels and glutes, and then squeezing on the way up. 
And this is one of my favorite exercises to strengthen your hamstrings as well as glutes and fix imbalances in the body since we are doing one limb at a time. Once you finish both sides, we are gonna be going into the very last exercise. Up today, which is gonna be a weighted hip thrust. So you can grab your kettlebell or dumbbell, lay it on those hips. I was finding the right way of how this felt and I ended up turning them the other way, but I want you to focus on keeping your chin tucked, scooping from your butt, and squeezing and holding that tension in the glutes at the top. Think of yourself as never losing tension in your glutes and hamstrings. Even at the bottom, you hold at the bottom, you can track to the top. And I want you going for as many reps as possible. I grabbed the heaviest kettlebells at my place and I went for 15, 20 reps and just kept going until my glutes were absolutely on fire. I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. I want to know below, what would you like me to do for our next workout video? You could be ab workouts. It could be another Smith machine only workout. You tell me in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one today and let me know if you try it out. Make sure to subscribe, new videos three times a week, and I can't wait to see you for our nutrition topic on Sunday.